This right here is your complete guide to dad's hospital bag. It is way more important than you may even realize. The average stay for a hospital births 48 hours and cesareans 96 hours. I even have a loved one that was in labor for 85 hours. Now I'm gonna show you things you never even dreamt you might need until today. Most of all, I'm gonna get you prepared. What bag to get, what snacks to get, what not to forget. All this and more coming up. This video is for dads, biological or otherwise, who want to have an active and educated role in the birth and life of their babies. Okay, okay, you might not need everything here, but you just might. We curated a list of the most important, most useful items. You're gonna need to pack three bags, one for you, one for mom, and one for your new baby. But this video is all about your bag. So you're gonna to wanna to have this bag ready about the 30 second week. There's a lot to go through in a very short amount of time. Let's go. So first of all, you gotta get a good bag. This one is one of my absolute favorites. It's called the SO1 Action Backpack by Mission Critical. This thing is awesome. It's actually specifically made for dads with babies. Check this one out. Headphones for you and your partner. It blocks out sound, helps you sleep. Also, it allows you to listen to music. Battery pack, in case you don't have constant access to a power outlet. Extra power strip. A lot of times, there's only one outlet for you to use, so this thing can really come in handy. A laptop preloaded with movies and shows. Sometimes the internet there could be pretty spotty. A tablet, that's great to have if you don't have a laptop. Camera and camera charger. Depending on your gear, this might take a lot better photos than your cell phone. A tripod, so if the hospital lets you film, this can be great to set up in the corner there so you can actually focus on your partner. A speaker for music. Put together a playlist with you and your partner ahead of time. An aux cable, because a lot of medical equipment requires you to disable your Bluetooth on your devices, so that can really save you. And you need some entertainment for the downtime, like magazines, books, deck of playing cards, your cell phone, couple of changes of clothes, and make sure they're comfortable. Just imagine what you'd wanna wear if you're sitting inside of a 65 degree room with hard floors for 30 plus hours. You're gonna wanna get one nice shirt that you can put on after your baby arrives. Swimwear, in case you're having a water birth. A comfortable pair of shoes with a hard sole. You're gonna be so glad you got something like that. A good neck pillow is really gonna save you. Get this exact neck pillow. It is so comfortable. It is the softest memory foam I have ever seen, and it can double as a pillow. Pillow and blanket kit from home. This is a travel kit that combines down into one little package. It's pretty cool. There's a link down below in the description as well. A couple of pillowcases, earplugs for sleeping, a sleep mask. Anything that can help you sleep at night is going to be worth its weight in gold. A robe, even for dad. If you're doing skin to skin contact with your baby, which you should, it's so important. A robe can really help out with that. Make sure you get some healthier snacks too, because you can get really burnt out really quickly. Stay away from the Red Bulls and the caffeine pills. I I recommend either doing green tea or coffee. So it's good to get yourself a little reusable coffee cup as well. A reusable water bottle. You should get Tic Tacs too, cause you're gonna be breathing all over her. It's also gonna be good to get some creature comforts for mom as well. Mr. Bottle, this might help keep her cool between contractions. Battery powered handheld fan. Don't shop around, buy this exact model. It charges over USB, it is very strong, it's super quiet, and it can last all night on low, and you can charge even using your little cell phone battery bank. They're amazing. Massage oil. Make sure it's a scent that she likes. Massages are going to be really important to relieve some of these aches and pains during birth. A flexible straw. If she's laying down, you can still keep her hydrated. Some hard candies. A lot of hospitals won't let her eat before. This can really make the difference. Oil diffuser. You'll want to check with the nursing staff ahead of time because some places don't even allow them. A soft blanket for her. Don't forget any daily prescription medications. You know, you don't want to forget glasses, contact solution, contacts, that kind of thing. Bring your toiletry bag. Soap and shampoo are often not provided at hospitals. Get a small bottle of Dr. Bronner's, which is all natural and can replace soap, shampoo, toothpaste, shaving cream, and more. Check out our video all about Dr. Bronner's. It is some crazy stuff. You may want to time contractions. You'll want to get a watch with a second hand. Don't forget a notebook too, so you can record their frequency and duration. Check out our other video all about timing contractions. Make a call list. People you may need to update with the news so you don't miss anyone. Or you can have an email all written out and drafted ahead of time, so all you have have to do is hit send. Okay, a push present. This is definitely a newer idea. You'll wanna have this gift on hand at just the right moment. Actual paper money. 
because you never know, especially for things like tipping the valet at the hospital. Get a real journal and pen. Keeping detailed notes the whole time, you and your child will really treasure as they get older. They're gonna throw a ton of paperwork your way. So if you get a little folder like this, it can help you keep it all contained. Make sure you bring copies of your birth plan too, so you can hand them out to the doctors, midwives, and nurses there on call. You don't have a birth plan? Well, check out our video all about birth plans. There's a link down below as well. You might need to bring your checkbook, insurance information, other relevant paperwork as well because they might need to settle up while you're there and of course you'll need to bring your state issued id so there you have it subscribe to the channel for more labor delivery and life pro tips for dads until next time love that little baby with everything you got